this project started in September 77, when a man in one of the towns in, Herz in Israel murdered his wife. Uh, when he gave himself up to the police, he claimed he didn't intend to kill her because she was used to being beaten by, by, this, by her husband. So uh, it turned out that the man, the man and the woman had been married for three months and I literally saw red. I couldn't understand how anybody could remain calm or quiet if a woman could be a victim of a murder. And I was aware of murder and violence towards women, but this is the first time that I decided to act. The, the project is a shelter for victims of, of domestic violence in Israel and it has a personal uh, connection to me. Uh, it will be named after my mother and grandmother. Uh, my mother, Tamar de Shalit, um, wanted to start a philanthropic project in memory of her mother, um, Ada. And she met a childhood friend of hers uh, called Ruth Resnick, who in 1977 uh, established a charity called No to Violence um, in Israel. We sat with the architects and we planned the sort of building that we need and according to our requirements they built a unique building which really fits the needs of women and children. The word home was repeated a lot in, in the brief from the charity and our response was to design the building as a small micro village. So in every village there's a there's a home, there are there are streets, there are communal spaces. I took the concept of a kibbutz where you had a major living room, major dining room, everybody had jobs and, and their own work to do on the on the on the on the farm and every woman who comes to the shelter takes part in the collective she has found herself in. While designing the building we took inspiration from the work of Eduardo Chilida, um, both from his sculptures and uh, paintings. One project in, partic in particular called Okamoto uh, where he was planning to hollow a mountain and that's lend itself to um, the idea of having the, the building with two facades. One uh, the external facade rougher in a, in a, in, in a conceptual way with an internal um, facade that surrounds the, the, the internal courtyard um, of the building which is the, the therapeutical heart, the, the haven of, of the building. On a recent visit to the shelter, um, after the women and children had moved in, you could notice a sense of relief of the, the inhabitants of um, living in a, in a secure place. They could call home, even if it's just temporarily. Having completed the, this project, we would like to inspire the implementation of other socially minded projects. Uh, projects uh, to project an architecture of hope. All shelters contribute to a woman's feeling of safety and to her children of peace. The children learn to relax, children become naughty, they discover that they have a right to be children and play and make, and make a noise and the women, most of the women come to us and tell us, you know this is the first night I slept here and I didn't have to worry whether he would wake me up. It's going to be a wonderful home, home from home, which is peaceful. And, and they can sit there and plan the rest of their lives.